this blizzard? Why? Oh, I didn't want to want it. I didn't want to like it, you guys. I didn't want to like it. I didn't want anything to do with World of Warcraft. But of course I had to watch the live stream because that's what I do. So today at Gamescom, Blizzard has announced World of Warcraft Legion, and that's exactly where I thought we were going with it, was the Burning Legion. So I'm kind of happy to see that. Not sure how I feel about how we get there. You know, we're in this alternate timeline now where Gul'dan is still a thing, and apparently Illidan is somehow also a thing. I don't know. Aside from how we're getting there, though, OMGzers, we are getting Demon Hunters, and I've always loved the Demon Hunters. Like, I love Illidan. I think he got a raw deal. I would love to see him redeemed because he's not really the jerk that everybody makes him out to be. People are just mean to him. Give Illidan a chance. As for me, I really thought I was done with WoW. I have had no interest in it any time recently. Um, the last expansion, I waited like an entire year to pick it up because... I had just fallen out of love with it. I went from really, really, really hardcore raider at a previous point in my life to meh. How do you know someone played World of Warcraft back in Manila? Don't worry. We'll tell you all about it. Uh, and that's true. I was an original raider. I enjoyed smashing my head in Molten Core many, many, many times. Uh, Burning Crusade was kind of the peak of it for me right before I had my kids. Uh, I was an assistant manager making my own schedule, so it worked around my raid schedule, and I had real life guild meetings. Wow was my life at one point. Now that life has settled down and the last few expansions have kind of been meh, uh, I haven't really had too much of an interest. I played through them just because I like the storylines, but I haven't had a whole lot to do with them. Uh, this is probably going to change that because uh, I was kind of live blogging it to my husband at work while I was watching the live stream and he was like, calm down, fangirl. I'm like, ah, oh, am I really a fangirl again? Storyline wise, Gul'dan has allowed the Legion to come into Azeroth for the biggest invasion in history, which is a really big deal if you're thinking about how much they've been here before. Um, and we're going to be going into some old areas that people will recognize from Warcraft 3. There's going to be a lot of uh, new lore and picked up lore. One of the biggest things to me is artifact weapons. Uh, I'm an EverQuest 1 and 2 player, which is a place where you are used to these very class specific weapons that you actually unlocked through these amazingly long chains of dungeons and raids. They were a big deal to unlock your class weapon. So now we're seeing that in WoW. And it's a little more than just, you know, hey, let's go try to get the pieces for Atish or let's go try to get Anathema. I know it wasn't uh, legendary, but it was still cool. So now we're seeing these class and spec specific weapons. And I actually just got done saying that Oh my god, the Fire Majors are getting Kael'thas' sword, so that's a thing that has to happen. I'm disappointed that I didn't get to see what priests are getting, though. Come on, Blizzard! So along with class weapons, we're actually also getting um, sort of a class guild hall, so to speak. We're going to be getting these uh, class-specific areas. Um, they mentioned that, say, shamans will be on the edge of the Maelstrom, and warlocks are going to have their own little portal to another demon world kind of thing because they're warlocks and that's what warlocks do. Uh, so there's going to be these very, very interesting places for us as classes to go. They're bringing back Dalaran as our hub because Dalaran is coming with us because the mages are going to help. Jaina's not there. Apparently she's off pissed off in a corner somewhere. No idea where she went. But they're going to be making a lot heavier focus on what class you are and making it feel very different. So that reminds me a lot of Tor. I've been playing a lot of the Old Republic lately because I still haven't finished the Jedi storyline. I'm a bad girl. Uh, that's the only one I have left to do. So uh, it looks like we're going to be doing a lot more class specific stuff. And wow, and that is a welcome change. If I'm playing a priest, I don't want it to be the exact same as somebody playing a warlock. It's not the same experience. New dungeons, new raids, new kind of uh, elf coming in. Emerald Dream is finally going to be a thing. And uh, people have been like skimming little pieces marked Emerald Dream out of the data for years and years and years. So I'm happy to see that we're finally going to be going there and theoretically putting an end to it. Cenarius is going to be there helping us through. So it'll be great to see him. Um, there's also going to be a new kind of elf, but unfortunately not a good kind of elf. We're going to be seeing elves that have been spawned by the Nightwell, and while we've seen some of the concept art for their city, we haven't really seen them yet. 
Class weapons are going to be upgradable through their own sort of talent system that reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy X. You know, put the little marble in each area for the upgrade that you want. And it goes along with the weapon. We've got Ashbringer for Paladins. We are going to have one based on Shards of Fro Frostmourne for Death Knights. Um, lots and lots of interesting things. Shaohao's staff is going to be for one of the kinds of monks. They're really tying this into past lore, which is what WoW does best. That is the one thing that keeps people who aren't big fans of the game's play coming back is because the lore there is so rich. I mean, I've read the books and comics because, nerd alert, uh, <laughs> and I, I've always loved the lore. I've always loved story. I'm really happy to see that they're putting a heavy focus on that. I mentioned I'm no longer a raider. I've actually gotten a lot more into PvP in the past years. My favorite thing to do on WoW is to go in and shoot somebody in the face of the bow. I love my hunter for PvP. I also occasionally play a disc priest. Um, I haven't played the game in such a long time since the since I picked up Warlords of Draenor, but that's been my thing for the past several expansions. I just, I, I don't know. I like PvP. I've gotten really into it. I'm very aggressive and uh, I'm mean. So there. They're making changes to PvP where you are no longer going to be grinding out your honor just to obtain gear and higher geared people smash lower geared people in the face. Someone like me who tends to come in later in the expansion because I haven't had much interest, it sucks jumping into the battleground with people who have already had a chance to get themselves well geared. Um, now this is still going to have a little bit of curve where those who've been around are going to be way ahead of those who are getting in late, but they are switching to a talent system. So now with this new talent system, you'll be able to work your way up through these talents. And at the end, you can do something called taking a prestige rank, where you're going to be able to reset your talent bar and actually get a, another ranking from it. Now, you'll get a little thing on your portrait that says, you know, I've done this many ranks. These Think of it like Diablo, where you get a nicer portrait each time that you go way up. Um, so you're going to get something like that. There's also going to be exclusive rewards, like exclusive versions of those artifact weapons. They are customizable in their appearance as well as their abilities. And some of the appearances are going to be PVP only. Um, and you're also going to get some of the, the exclusive rewards as things like uh, they showed a horse. They're going to be doing things like exclusive mounts for it. So it gives people like me who like to smash faces all the more reason to go in and do it. Oh yeah, and demon hunters are a thing. So the demon hunters are coming in. They look like either night elves or blood elves in their skin variations. They also have these weird variants where they have like scales or spikes and things like that. They all have horns. They did give us an option to not have any horns at all, but why would you do that? You'll also be able to customize which kind of eyewear you have over the demon hunter because they all have plucked their eyes out to be able to be one. And a lot of the Demon Hunter specific armor is going to be very revealing to be able to show the custom tats that they have. So both males and females will have a lot of skin exposure going on. Wow. There are only two spec trees for the Demon Hunter. Uh, Blizzard decided that rather than give us fluff crap to fill up that extra tree, that they were just going to go with two specs because those are the two that made sense. There is a tank and there's DPS and the tank's metamorphosis is bigger and beefier than the DPS. So we are getting some variants. Speaking of variants, the artifact weapons obviously don't show up on feral druids, so now when they do uh, equip their weapon and upgrade it or change its appearance, you're actually going to see their entire body change. And an example was a uh, kitty with a little bit of armor and some extra pretties and then another variant of it where it looked like it was uh, made of ice almost. It was very, very cool. I'm going to leave a link to the live streamy thingy down here because I'm sure there's going to be a recording somewhere that you can watch. Um, I'm super excited. I want to know what you think about it. I have not been excited about WoW in a very, very, very long time. Uh, it's it's kind of nice. I might go back. I might not. I haven't decided. As excited about it as I am, uh, I got a lot of things going on. I can't really dump my life into Azeroth right now, um, but we'll see. They said beta is going to be this year, so uh, no word on launch dates yet, but I'd imagine it'd be soon. I uh, love to know what you think below. I'll talk to you guys about it and see you in the next one.